This month we're looking at Portrait of a Chicken. And uh, this chicken belonged to my in-laws, um, so I'm grateful for them for letting me photograph them. Uh, it's also interesting because as a chicken, uh, the eyes are on the side of the head. So at first glance, it seems like the chicken is looking that way and this is a portrait, but this chicken's eye structure is such that it's really staring me down at that point. It's looking right at me. And um, that gaze direction is an important factor in terms of, uh, for humans, what does it mean? Where's everyone looking? Um, people are often going, we're going to interpret gaze as what's important as an, in an image. So if you have an image where two or three people are all looking at an object or at a monitor or something like that, that's the focus of their world, of that moment right there. And so the audience interprets that there's something important that's being looked at. Likewise, if they're all looking at one individual, we'll interpret that that person's the speaker and everyone else is listening to them. Using gaze direction intentionally to put the focus on one space or object in an image or another is an important thing in designing a photograph to achieve a certain purpose. Because the, the audience is going to half consciously interpret meaning from it, we, we need to be cognizant of that when we design the image. So if there's a, a couple of people looking at a machine, if there's a, a triangle of people who's the speaker, um, all of those things in terms of gaze determine what's, who has essentially the leadership position in that image at that moment, and how do we leverage that to achieve the meaning we want to convey in this particular brochure, or at this point in a website, or in terms of explaining a product or a service. Um, we use that intentionally to create the context that we need to explain or make the case for our client's business proposition.